This video will guide you through eight steps needed to create a liability waiver. Drafting liability waivers is a widely requested projects on the Contracts Council platform since they are essential for protecting businesses from risk. So if you need to create a liability waiver for your business, this video is for you. We will cover 1. Who needs a liability waiver? 2. Key terms to include in your document. 3. The 8 steps to follow to write your liability waiver. Now, let's get started. Who needs a liability waiver? Liability waivers are typically needed by businesses involved in services or activities that carry a risk of damage or injury. Below are some examples. 1. Recreational activities. Businesses offering activities like skydiving, water sports, or rock climbing typically need participants to sign a liability waiver. This protects the business from lawsuits in case of an accident. 2. Fitness and sports. Gyms, yoga studios, and martial arts schools will typically require their members to sign a liability waiver to protect the business in case of any accidents. 3. Event venues. Businesses that organize events like concerts and festivals will typically require attendees to sign a liability waiver in case of any injuries. 4. Rental businesses. Companies that rent equipment like bikes and boats will typically require their customers to sign liability waivers in case they get hurt while using their equipment. 5. Travel businesses. Travel agencies and tour operators often use liability waivers to protect themselves in case a customer gets injured while using their service. Note, many other companies may use liability waivers outside of these examples. What to include in liability waivers? There are common terms used in liability waivers. Here are some common clauses you will find. 1. Assumption of risk. This clause acknowledges that the participant is aware of the risk they are engaging in. 2. Release of liability. This clause is critical and is where the participant agrees to not hold the business responsible for any injuries or damages they may suffer. 3. Indemnification. This term obligates the participant to compensate the business for any losses, damages, or legal expenses they may incur during the participation in activities. For example, if the business is sued because of the participant's actions, the participant promises to cover those legal expenses. 4. No warranty. This clause declares the business does not provide any guarantees regarding safety or condition of the equipment being used. 5. Medical treatment consent. Often included in waivers for physical activities, this clause permits the business to provide emergency medical treatment if necessary. Photo and video release. This clause gives the business the permission to use any photos or videos taken of the participants for promotional purposes. Eight steps to writing a liability waiver. Here is a list of eight steps you can follow to draft your liability waiver. One, review commonly used clauses. Review the commonly used clauses discussed earlier in this video or find a template online to use as a reference. Then, you want to determine what clauses you want to include in your waiver. 2. Identify key business information. Next, identify the key information you want to include. This may include details about your equipment or activity you provide to customers. 3. Use clear language. When writing a legal agreement, it is critical to use clear and concise language that all parties understand. Avoid using complex legal language or technical terms. 4. Organize content. Once you've written your clauses, organize them so that they are logical. For example, you likely want to have your assumption of risk clause before your photo release clause. 5. Include applicable laws. Be sure to incorporate any applicable laws and regulations that govern your industry or business activities. Note, this may require doing some research. 6. Consider seeking legal advice. If you are unsure about anything, consider using Contracts Council's platform to seek advice from an experienced lawyer. 7. 
Review and Revise Once you've drafted your clauses, review and revise them to make the language clearer and confirm you have included everything needed. 8. Make Available Create a standalone document you can have your customers sign or accept online. In conclusion, writing a business liability waiver is a vital step in protecting your business. If you need help from an experienced lawyer, feel free to visit www.contractscouncil.com and post a job to get quotes from lawyers to help you. Thanks for watching.